don't judge a book by its cover. These rats can do in 30 minutes what humans can do in four days. Come with us to learn more about what these incredible animals can do. We have arrived in Siem Reap. We got here last night. We got a boat and a bus from Dondet and it took around 11 hours. So last night we just got here, we dropped our bags in the hotel. We're staying near Pub Street and we went to a little like, food market which is around Pub Street. It's called Green Market and it's basically just like loads of different food stalls from international cuisine. Wasn't really any local food to be honest, but it's really cool in there. Had like a DJ with some music on, which is cool. And then we had a little wander down Pub Street, which is absolutely mental. And today we have come to What Else Cafe for some breakfast. We've got two smoothie bowls on the way. We have got a tuk-tuk driver coming to pick us up in about an hour. And we're doing a few bits in the city today. I don't know if you can see, but it's not actually the best weather today. So the bits that we've got planned are indoors, I'm hoping. So yeah, gonna be avoiding the rate at all costs. And it's also mental really, coming from uh, Dondet and the 4,000 Islands to Siem Reap. It's like going from zero to 100. It is honestly so chilled out there, so relaxed. And here it just seems a little bit mental. Ooh, nice chocolate smoothie bowl. And a mocha. Ooh, that smoothie bowl was so good. So we had two smoothie bowls, two coffees, and an, a cheese and ham croissant, and it was 70,000 real. And yeah, just gonna meet our tuk-tuk driver now. Not sure where he is, I think this is our ride. But yeah, no idea, mate. Is, is he in the back? Like rolling today, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, like <laughs> The War Museum here in Siem Reap has got a mix of US, Chinese and Soviet weaponry and artifacts. And the museum has been created in order to keep the memories alive of the Cambodian Civil War. We've been coming around here and getting a tour by Sanaf, who was nine years old when all of this started happening and he's lost his leg. He was blind in both eyes, but he's had surgery in order to be able to see out of one eye. And yeah, it's been really interesting hearing his story about the impact that he's had on his life. Entry into the museum is 20,000 real each and the tour from Sanaf is just purely on a donation basis. I must admit my knowledge on the history of this country is not very good so it's been really cool to learn about Sanaf's story. It's really made me realise kind of the impact that it's had on the people of Cambodia and their lives. We are now at the Killingfields Memorial site which looks into the genocide which occurred during the Civil War in 1970 to 1975. During this time over 2 million people were killed. Entry into here is 12,000 real each, and I tell you what, this is even more shocking than the War Museum. This has really opened my eyes to some of the executions and tortures that went on during this period. The Apopo Visitor Centre is one of the most popular attractions here in Siem Reap, and this is a charity which researches and trains rats in order to clear landmines and detect TB. It has played a vital part here in Cambodia in order to clear the bombs and mines that have been left here from the war. We're doing a tour and it's costing 32,000 real each. Yeah, because people live here, they don't live there. So the okay, in the minefield, there's so many kinds of different of them, but they're... We've got a lot of rat demonstration. So you, <laughs> you know why I... Uh, Glenn. Glenn? Is he called Glenn? Yeah, I'm going to take him over. He's <laughs> going back with me. Oh, he doesn't look like he likes you. <laughs> that is the Oppo tour complete, and now the sun's out. Whee! Uh, it was really cool, and uh, yeah, we actually learned so much about the rats and why they use them. And I'm going to pass on a bit of that knowledge now. So, I actually use the rats uh, over dogs because they're lighter, so they don't set off the mines, and they are close to the ground as well. So, they've also got better uh, smell than a dog. And the rats also, they live for eight years, and they normally take around like a year to be trained, and then they'll work for like four to six years. They're also able to cover a lot, a lot of land, a lot faster than any dog or metal detector can do. So they're very efficient little animals. Yeah, much quicker than yeah, any human or dogs. And they work for 30 minutes per day. And Oppo seem like they really look after them. They literally keep them for the whole of their life. Even when they stop working, they keep them and yeah, make sure they have a good retirement in yeah, a nice accommodation loads of food and yeah they get to play and all that so yeah highly rated Oppo and that tour would definitely recommend it. Also I finally picked up a new water bottle and the profits are going towards a good cause so yeah definitely 10 out of 10 recommend. So the last stop for us today on our tour with Lay the uh, tuk-tuk driver <laughs> is the 
Mosley village here in uh, Siem Reap. And yeah, so I don't think we got mugged off as much as we did with the one in Bangkok. If you haven't seen that, then make sure you check out the video. We paid uh, $25 each for this boat trip and hopefully, fingers crossed, it's gonna be a good sunset. The hospital, literally in the middle of the lake, but imagine having to get a boat to go to the hospital. Mental. So you can get a little boat through the little mangroves. Uh, I think it's like another five dollars or something, but I don't know we're gonna do it because we wanna go out and see the sunset, but it looks pretty cool. Look at this beautiful sunset as modeled by my beautiful girlfriend, <laughs> Beth. Look. Absolutely beautiful. It's <laughs> the sunset that keeps on giving. got back to the hotel and what a day that was. Had so much fun exploring Siem Reap today. Did you like it? The best time. A bit sad to learn about the, all the realities of the genocide and stuff, but also very enlightening and seeing all the good work that's been done through Apopo and things like that. Yeah, very informative indeed. I learned yeah. a lot today, that's for sure. My history knowledge isn't the best, so definitely learned a lot today. And we booked our tuk-tuk driver, there's a guy called Lei, who's recommended us uh, from an Aussie Ben that we met in Nongkiao. So yeah, if you want his number, then let me know. He was honestly the absolute nicest guy. Had uh, drinks for us, we got water and beer as well. He wanted to make sure we had the best time like on the floating village experience when we got the boat out there. Made sure we didn't miss the sunset. He was the best, so definitely yeah. hit him up if you find yourselves in Siem Reap. Yeah, very, very nice guy. And about the floating village as well, so we paid $25 each for that. And I did look on uh, Get Your Guide and it was like 18 pounds. So, and that included a pickup from your hotel as well. So. Yeah, if you want to do either of the two, but yeah, up to you. And we paid uh, Lay, we paid him 100,000 real. He did only ask for 70, but we gave him a bit more as, yeah, he was so good. So yeah, hit him up if you're in CM Reap. We've come out tonight to the old market here in Siem Reap, and we want to try some local delicacies. So we've gone for a lock lag. I've gone for chicken and Bev's gone for beef with fried rice. Looks banging, hopefully it tastes good. Have a look. Beautiful. and get a haircut here at Dasa in Siem Reap and this is Dasa behind me. I think he's done a really good job. Hi everyone, if you come here and you mention Joe, I will give you a special prize. Yeah, this is the name of it, Dasa's Barbershop in there. So yeah, I think he's done a pretty good job with the hair, nice fresh trim. So yeah, also don't, obviously if you're gonna go there, then don't forget to mention my name and it's gonna give you a little discount. Look, don't say I don't do anything for you guys. By the way, my haircut earlier cost me $10. I'm not sure if I've mentioned this already, but everything here in Cambodia so far is in dollars. It's really weird because you'll pay in dollars and then you'll get a Cambodian real back, which is really confusing trying to work out the change. But you do seem to save a little bit of money if you actually pay in real, because the exchange rate they're using currently is 4,000 for $1 and 4,000 is actually 96 cents. So yeah, for every $1, you're saving four cents. So. You know, look after the pennies and the dollars will add, up, add up for themselves. Look after themselves. <laughs> <laughs> and also we are changing our hotel tomorrow. We're gonna go stay in the Wonders Hostel and looked on booking.com and it was saying it was $20 per night. And then we actually went in there and she said it was $19 for one night. So you can actually save a little bit of money by going directly to the place that you're gonna stay. Oh. It looks so nice as well. Yeah, it does look banging as well. And Beth has picked up 
some new fresh sunglasses. new shades. A little uh, birthday present to herself. Yeah. It's an Anchor Watt sunrise morning for us today. And if you want to see our sunrise experience at Anchor Watt, then make sure you subscribe and watch out for the video coming in the next few days. It's basically a complete guide for the whole site, so make sure you don't miss it. Whew. I didn't film any of the rounds or any of the training, but just trained Jiu Jitsu here at Ground Zero here in Siem Reap. Really good gym, all the guys are really welcoming and I didn't pay anything, so yeah, nice guys. If you train Jiu Jitsu or any like Mai Tai boxing or anything, definitely come check these guys out. Whew, what a session. This is a normal attire for me and Beth, but it is Halloween tonight. It's the 31st of October and we're in Wonders Hostel and they've got a Halloween party going on. So we thought, why not get some face paint? We're getting involved in the Halloween spirit. Pub Street is popping off tonight. There's loads of locals here. They must absolutely love Halloween. Buckets. <laughs> it's always the buckets for. Right, today we are heading to Batabang and yeah, we booked our minibus and it was eleven dollars each, I believe. And it takes about three hours. We had a really good night last night. Uh, wonders, honestly, I would definitely recommend if you're in Siem Reap or even in anywhere else in Cambodia, definitely stay at Wonders. All the staff were so nice and friendly. English was perfect, and they put on an amazing Halloween party. Yeah, they couldn't do more for you. They were no. so nice, and we saw them out, and they were like so yeah. excited to see us. They were yeah. cool. Yeah, we see them down Pub Street, and they were yeah, yeah. So definitely recommend Wonders, and yeah, it's uh, pretty cheap as well, and, and very clean. I was literally just about to say that, yeah, like yeah. the cleanest place I think we've stayed in, to be honest, like yeah. out of all the hotels and that. I would actually say, as a whole experience, I would say probably the best place we've stayed so far. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Right, so we're gonna head to Batabang now. If you wanna see what we got up to there, make sure you hit that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> And if you want to know if we survived the tubing in Bang Vien, then make sure you check out this video right here. <laughs> 